welcome back youtubers to another video here on rostec automotive today we are addressing a highly requested video we're going to be installing uh, windows 11 pro on the m1 macbook ear and what we are going to be achieving today is actually just giving a quick tutorial as to how it is that we're going to be moving parallels to an external hard drive so that you don't have to be confined to the internal storage that it is that your macbook has this is particularly necessary if you don't have a lot of internal storage you want to install ista um esis whether it's going to be ista plus um or ista p and you're going to need to have things such as the psdz data which especially if you're getting the full version of it is going to take about 300 gigabytes of space on top of all of the other applications that you'll be installing this is just a quick way of how you can move the entire os to an external drive so that windows is only natively there i will also show how it is that you can extend the drive space if you install um, internally or even externally but you are limited to 255 gig on first install i can show you it will be shown here how it is that you extend that drive space so while this is installing i'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this until it is finished and then we can go from there All right, so Windows 11 is now installed successfully. Just going through the final steps here. And from here, we will now move on to extending the drive volume. So as you will see, we only have 255 gigabytes of storage. Now we know that that is not sufficient for running all of the BMW software that we need. So we're going to show now how it is exactly that we go about extending that volume. First, we need to shut down the virtual machine. I'm going to go back to our native Mac app, Mac, Mac, Mac OS. I'm going to hit the control center. We're going to go to settings and we're going to be making some changes to the hard drive in the hardware tab. You'll see advanced properties and inside there you can see that we can set the maximum allowable hard drive space. Do note that you need to ensure that the hard drive space that is being set is in accordance with the amount of free space that it is that you do have on the drive that it is that you will be having parallels stored on. So in this case, I have parallels currently installed on my MacBook. I have a whole terabyte of space available to me. Out of that terabyte, there is 700 free. So I have set my, my drive to 640. You'll see it comes back up with 255 gig, that's okay. Now, when we go into the disk management, you will see that there's that black space. We just click on extend drive from there we're good to go to extend it and you head back to your desktop refresh the machine and when you go back into your file explorer and hit this pc now you have the allotted space that you have requested um it's really that simple now we're gonna get into actually moving uh parallels onto your external drive 
All right, so I have a one terabyte hard drive that I am getting connected right now, just waiting for it to show up. And we'll give some details of it here in a few. Ah, uh, there we go. So here's my one terabyte drive. You see that it shows that right now it's formatted to XFAT. Um, it's one terabyte, it has about, I'm not even sure how much space it has remaining. Um, here is our Windows 11 virtual machine. You'll see that it is very small, just a few bytes. All right. And what we'll be doing is we will be looking for the root of that file. Now, this is going to be found on, well, in your... Um, your main folder on your Mac as you see on mine it is labeled Windows 11.pvm so you're just going to be copying that and to paste it or to cut and paste since they don't have a cut feature in in, in Mac you will hold on command option and press V and that will move it permanently from the original location right onto your external another way that you could have done this is instead of installing parallels on the mac itself you could have placed the external in to begin with and in parallel settings you could select the um, install location of parallels to be on that external volume now what we will do is to avoid having to reinstall parallels you just go back to that external drive double click on the windows 11.pvm file as you will see me do shortly and once you double click there it will boot directly from the external and i will go back into the control center to show you the difference that is there so that you know that it is booting from the external drive. All right, so right now we are booting solely from the external drive. Let's shut down and I'm gonna show you the difference so that you know for sure that it's on the external. All right, so we're gonna reopen our control center and you will see that right beside Windows 11 is a little hard drive sign there. Now, if I were supposed to eject my external, then you will see that in the control center is gonna show that there's no disk available, All right? And if I unplug the external and plug it back in, then it will show that I can now boot. So that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, and I am out.